2000 to 2006 Chevy Suburban Tahoe and some years on Silverado. I think there's some differences there. Uh, we're going to do a fog light replacement. Uh, these are uh, just cheap aftermarket replacements that I put on this thing probably, I don't know, seven years ago because the original ones were busted out. But you can barely see these. I'll insert a nighttime clip at the end of this when we do a comparison. But they're pretty much useless. So we're going to upgrade to LED. I've already upgraded this Suburban to LED headlights. Great lighting upgrade. So we're going to do the fog lights. Got these on Amazon. And they look very nice. Got some instructions. Of course, I've already been in here. They've got a nice metal, not plastic, housing, thinned, and they look very nice. These are gonna be a very nice upgrade. Look at those, those are awesome. And the bracket, is very stiff feeling. I remember when I put these on that are on here, the the bracket was pretty flimsy. So these are these seem very nice. So let's uh, pop the bolts out and pop these in. I'll show you the process on that. Pretty easy on these, and they are different left to right. So you know you, you can't really mix them up. You'll see underneath. All right, so we're underneath back side of the bumper. You can see our light here. We're gonna have to unplug that plug. And then the two bolts are actually right there. So it gets mounted on top of the bottom lip of the bumper, not the bumper skirt, or whatever you wanna call it, valance, air dam, whatever. Um, none of those names are correct. But um, the bottom lip of the metal part of the bumper, and I'll see if I can get you in there to see them. It's two 10 millimeters. There's one of them. You can see both of them right there. So it's kind of tight. I will see if I can get y'all positioned somewhere where y'all can see on a time lapse. But we're basically just gonna get a wrench in there, a ratchet. It's 10 millimeter take those two bolts out and then pop this one out pop the new one in and then move on to the other side So here's just a comparison of a stockish replacement that cannot see even when they were brand new. Just really couldn't tell much of a difference with them on or off, just barely. And then here we have our new LED, just kind of a side by side. I know they're opposite sides. That's passenger side, this is driver side, but yeah. And these things, they are, They've got some beef to them, which is good. So I'm gonna pop this one in, and then uh, tonight we will take a look and see how they work. So just a little show on the plug. You got the little clip here, a little tab here that's gonna fit into your clip. I forgot to show you all that. And they show all that in the instructions. So pretty detailed here a 
good stuff. And uh, give me a few minutes. I'll get this one installed and in a few hours, of course, instant for y'all, we'll do a uh, nighttime view. One other note, they did include some washers, but the washers were no bigger than the washers that were on my factory bolts. So I did not use the washers, but if you don't have washers or they've got small washers, use those. We got both sides installed, plugged in. Just kind of looped my wire right there. Uh, since there's a little pigtail in here, didn't want it to hang down. You could tie wrap it up, whatever. Uh, I have not done any adjustment. This is just where they were. Um, looks about like where my others were adjusted, my original ones. So we'll see, but we're gonna have to wait till nighttime. And then of course the bolts are up there. So, um, I'll give you all a view of daytime, what they look like with them on, and then we will uh, do a nighttime shot. So here's a little quick test of our old fog lights. Uh, headlights are on, fog lights are not. Fog lights are now on, you can barely see the difference. We'll turn the headlights off so you can see how bright just the fog lights are. And as you can see, they're pretty dim. We'll go outside and take a quick look. And they are both on, but they are not very bright. All right, so it's nighttime. Headlights are on, fog lights are off. Fog lights on, we can definitely see them turn on. You can see they're lighting up the fog area <laughs> down low. That's probably a pretty good adjustment. I haven't touched them, but uh, we don't want them too high. We don't want them blinding. We want them lighting up down low to cut through the fog. May aim them up just a hair. Headlights off. You can see they're really lighting up really well turn them off and see how they're bright with the focus of the beam down low like you would like and then headlights on headlights back off I'll show you the outside view I like them. They seem to be real good quality. They're made really well. Seem durable. Seem more durable than the, you know, the lenses I took off. And uh, I thought they were pretty good when I put them on, but these were definitely uh, made better. I like that they're metal housing and the bracket, the mounting bracket itself was really sturdy it's not real flimsy plastic it's got some strength to it so i think they'll do really well and uh i'm looking forward to putting them to use in some fog like i said my other ones i couldn't tell when they were on or when they were off they really just did nothing so definitely tell these are on so i'll put a link in the description uh, they're available on Amazon. That's where I got them. So take a look and um, pick up a set if you'd like. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. Hit the like button and subscribe for more.